Senator. How are you? Doing great, Deborah. Thank you. By the way, I'll take the Barry Manilow album. Oh, great, great. <laughs> you know, I know there are a lot of Barry Manilow albums out there. <laughs> you know, most of us just in our little houses across the country feel like we're so impotent when it comes to the government. And we look at people like you and Ted Cruz and just a handful of others who know the Constitution and love it like we do. Can you offer us any anything upbeat, any anything that the, the small group of you are doing to help rein in the rest of the government that sometimes is clearly doing illegal things? Sure. You know, Deborah, uh, there are a lot of people who share your concern about our, our government, and I'm happy to offer a few words of encouragement here. I'm a strong believer in the fact that even though we've got our challenges, and even though there are a lot of things wrong with our federal government right now, I still firmly believe that our best days may well remain yet ahead of us. And that's because I, you know, I'm, I'm old fashioned, but I, I, I kind of believe in something that Winston Churchill used to say. He said, the American people can always be counted on to do the right thing after they've exhausted every other alternative. And you know, we've spent decades now, seven or eight decades, experimenting with all kinds of things in government that aren't exactly within the text and the structure and the spirit and the letter of the Constitution. It's time to turn that around now. The American people are waking up and they're seeing that they've been made poorer and less free by a government that thinks it can be all things to all people, regardless of what the Constitution says. They're seeing increasingly, Deborah, that America's poor and middle class have been the biggest victims of an ever-expanding federal government that knows no boundaries and recognizes virtually no limits. I also remember something that George Washington said in the fall of 1787, after the Constitution had been drafted but prior to its ratification. He commented that from time to time the American people would see that the Constitution's not being implemented in a manner consistent with their wishes. And he said, you know, the Constitution will always be in good hands. It'll be in the hands of the people of this great country who from time to time when they see that it's not being implemented in a manner consistent with their wishes uh, will change personnel. They'll fire the existing president, the senators and the congressmen. They'll replace them with new people, different people who will serve them better and interpret the Constitution in a way that's consistent with how they'd interpret it. So I think we're headed in the right direction. I think we've got a government that's acting in a manner inconsistent with the will and the wishes, and most importantly, with the well-being and the best interests of the American people. But the good news is that we can turn it around. Deborah, you and I and lots of other people throughout our great state and throughout America can turn this country around and restore its greatness.